Hey there, YouTube and us Sam with Beck fans. This is Matthew and Lincoln, and welcome back to Fan Club 27. How's everyone doing today on this Saturday afternoon right now? So, my announcement is that Vic's case is going to move forward. Hooray for Vic. But of course, there are people out there who are so into this petty world of thinking that, oh my god, it's the end of the world. Oh my god, why? Can it just end it, please? Really? You guys gotta stop with this whole negativity. Really. It's all you do, post negativity like this. Or like this. Or even like this. Like, what is that? And all of a sudden you're attacking him left and right. I mean, look at this one. This comment right here. Yeah. How outstanding that is, you know? And look at this one. This guy probably doesn't have a wife, you know? He's there commenting left and right, no matter what he does. And he's always twisting Vic's words, like literally. And now I'm hearing from a friend of mine saying that someone's attacking him just now over the whole coronavirus joke. Oh my word, this is getting too much. All I'm going to say is I'm going to get straight to the point of this whole court case documentary, you know, announcement. I'm just going to say is that I'm glad this is moving forward because this whole pandemic thing is just making it worse. You know, delaying, delay, delay. This whole VIX case, you know. But I want it done. Don't you guys want it done? I mean, seriously. If VIX wins, then it means that Funimation owes a lot of money. That Monica and Demon probably in hiding, wondering like, Oh my god, what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. Should I do more voice acting? Oh, we should be on the run. We should make our accounts private. I mean, think about it, you guys. Kick Vic, along with Monica, Jamie, Ron, whatever, anyone who's on the Kick Vic side or whatever garbage that is, they're going to be hiding. Because they know what they said about Vic was all messed up, wrong and everything else you know what i mean because it's completely idiotic to be honest really i mean like who says things like that i mean according to big step position if you guys look very carefully at nico Kata's video he did not do any of those things read my lips did not do any of those things i met big myself of course I was at Liberty Anime City Con a year ago. Did he do any of those things? Let me think. Uh, no. Because I, for one, am autistic. Because for me, I'm more friendly and caring and everything else than Vic is. Because Vic does have autism as well. He has ADHD as well. So you telling me, for a person who has... ADHD and autistic wants to get hugs or no hugs, it's fine. Because another thing too, he's also Italian. So you're telling me you're attacking him, not only because also he's also Catholic. So you're telling me that a, a religious person with an Italian background and his ADHD and he loves fans and he cares for fans and his co-workers and he telling me that he's also a sexual predator? Hmm. That doesn't add up, does it? Because if an Italian person is showing affection, so you're telling me that every Italian that gives hugs and kisses on the cheek are predators? Huh? Okay, you guys don't make any sense. I'm just saying because, first of all, I've been to Italy. I know what they're like, but they show affection to our families and people who are close around them, especially close tourists. You don't see them like getting angry about that. So I really hope this case moves forward because it's just driving me nuts every time I see people being negative towards them. Because if you look at these, these tweets, you guys are just like saying negativities about them all the time. You can see it for yourself because all this BS about Vic saying that he threw a Sharpie at me. He threw a water bottle at me. 
Did he really do that? You moron. Seriously. Open your mind. Stop being so oblivious and stop being so stupid. Honestly. You guys thinking that Vic do all those things. Oh, he pulled my hair. He kissed me. He did this. Really? And all of a sudden you bring this now about this whole coronavirus joke that gone wrong. He was trying to wear a mask. And he was away from fans. You see the distance? You watch the video? Seriously? Oh my word. You guys are just too much. I've been reading on Twitter lately and everyone's attacking, attacking, attacking Vic. About, oh, fix us this. Oh, fix us about the coronavirus. Did you hear? Did you hear? Give me a break. I mean, you guys have nothing better to do but talk about Vic being attacking him all the freaking time. What is it with you? Do you like being stuck in the computer? Do you like attacking him? Do you think that's what you do? Twisting his words around? Thinking that, oh, Vic did this. Vic did this to Monica. He did this to Jamie. Oh my god, this is the end of the world. I don't know what to do. Uh -oh. My point is, this should be moved on. Seriously. Once they win this case, this will be done. Finished. Because I'm tired of hearing people attacking him once and we work with are so in trouble. I mean, have you seen what they do behind the scenes? They do inappropriate stuff. I am ashamed to know that this company is really aching for anything. And of course, there's going to be another network coming and combined with them, those two. Oh, yo, this is not really good. Mm -mm. But hopefully he does win. You know, and hopefully he does get more into this whole voice acting business. Because I really want to see more of it. Because I really miss him seeing the voice acting business, don't you? I mean, I miss him seeing Edward Elric. I see him in Tamaki. I miss him in every anime there is, you know? And Sally, he, I know he got replaced playing Broly. Ugh. I mean, I have nothing wrong with Johnny Young Bosch. I mean, he's a, he's good. But I like Big Better as Broly. I mean, if you guys agree. But other than that, I mean, I'm glad they're friends. That's a good thing. Him and Johnny Young Bosch and uh, Ty Habercorn. I really like those guys. You know, because I met them, I see them in person, they're very nice. But for the other voice actors that are really attacking Vic, they're like, yeah, God almighty. But other than that, you guys, just keep on praying for him, okay? I don't want to hear no negativity, nope, not uh Because if I hear another negative comment saying that Vic is this one more time, I'm going to delete it, or worse, I'm going to report it. Because I don't want to hear no pressing on my channel, because... If you guys keep unsubscribing because I stand with Vic, because that's on you. Because I have my opinion on this, okay? That's all. I just want you guys to be peaceful. No negativity whatsoever. Okay, you guys? So, if you like this video, you guys, smash that like button down below. Smash that subscribe button, like punch it. So you can get more likes. So the video can grow. But other than that, I want to say keep praying, you guys. Because Vic really needs this. Really, because Vic has been suffering a lot. I mean, like, he may not be, you know, in this fair part of this world right now, because of the pandemic right now, because it's very hard to find business in the active business, for real. But other than that, I just want to say that um, for Vic, you know, I hope you do win this case, because you deserve it, because all these attacking things just has to stop. Like, for real. Okay? Like, I really wish you the best, Vic, okay? And for you guys, keep on praying for him, okay? And I will always stand with Vic, always, in my heart. Alright, you guys? So, this is Megan, Megan, the Welcome to Fangirl 27. Love you all. Talk to you later. <laughs>